Konnichiwa. So today I thought I would add another video to my How to Train Your Partner series. But this time it's going to be based off the question of how do I deal with an aggressive dog? In other words, how do I deal with an angry partner, right? Um, so first I'm just going to start with the theory part of why dogs get angry and how do you deal with that in the dog training world. And after that, I'm going to relate the dog training tactic back into the human world, like what I did with the last video. So, um, why do dogs get angry? When dogs get angry, they're um, essentially in fight mode. So they'll snap at you, they'll bite you, they'll growl at you when you're not giving them what they want. Especially if they are so used to getting the thing that you usually supply them with and you just suddenly decide to deprive them of it. Like I had this dog who was so used to sleeping in her owner's bed that when she came to my place, she tried to get on my bed as well. And when I tried to get her off my bed, you know, by just telling her to move or like try to move her myself physically, she would snarl at me and try to bite me. Sometimes it could, it could also be a habit that they've built out of using anger to get what they want from their owners. I mean, dogs can hurt us, right? Uh, like physically hurt us. And so some owners, they get scared or they don't, they don't want to get hurt, right? So they will just give the dogs what they want not uh, and not thinking about the consequence. So the dogs would get aggressive, the owners submit to their aggression, the dogs get what they want, and they eventually learn that their anger or their aggression works and they just repeat the habit over and over again. So how to deal with this aggressive behavior right, in dogs? Um, the trick in the dog training world is to break that dog cycle and try to create a new habit for them that could help replace the old aggressive habit. In other words, you have to show them that this more positive method um, that doesn't involve aggression can actually give them the results that they're looking for. I'll give you an example. I had this dog who just hated getting touched by anyone else except for her owner. And whenever she would come to my place, I could not get anywhere near her. She would basically show her teeth, you know, whenever I would try to get close. That was her way of telling me, you know, hey, I need my space, okay, don't come, don't you even dare come close to me. So what I did was when she would show me aggression, I would not give her what she wants, which is for me to move away immediately, right? That's what she's after. She wants a space. So I don't give her what she wants and I stay put just to show her, right, your your method, like your current method is not going to work on me. I don't face her though because for dogs, facing each other is more of a confrontational stance. So uh, instead of making her calm down, it will probably make her anxiety go even more berserk. So what I'll do is I, I'll stay in my position but face her sideways um, and just do my thing, you know. I could be reading a book or I'll just start singing. <laughs> the point is I'll just stay in position and let her know that by you showing me that sort of negative behavior, I'm not going to give you what you want. After that, I'll just wait patiently for her to calm down or show a different behavior, in other words, you know, aside from the behavior that she's showing me, which is like... <laughs> so maybe she'll sit down or just stop showing her teeth, right? Once she gives me the behavior that I'm looking for, I immediately throw her some tuna and I walk away. That's what she wants, right? She wants me to move away. She'll start to think like, huh, she, she doesn't attack me, but she's also not moving away when I try to act tough. But once I calm down, you know, she seems to give me my space and I get freaking tuna. <laughs> so yeah. That's how I usually deal with aggressive dogs. Now, with humans, it's a bit more complicated, right? <laughs> it comes in the form of passive aggressiveness, or sour faces, or mean comments, or tantrums. And again, what is a human's motive for getting angry? What do they want? It's most likely because you're not giving them what they want, right? I like to think that it's usually they want to get attention from you. Um or something else that they're most likely being deprived of could be in the form of um, 
sympathy or empathy, compassion, gratitude, appreciation, um, affection, or just a reassurance that you care about them. Like, I like to think of anger as a tool that humans use to let the other person know that we can't let you hurt us any longer, right? We need to punish you for hurting us all this while, you know? We need to assert ourselves that we won't take your shit any longer. <laughs> yeah, because, of, because the punishment of me getting angry and blowing up at you is going to stop you from hurting me. But we all know that's not the case, right? I mean, the other person would start the same thinking process. Um and try to punish us back with their own fighting behavior. They will start to think, I can't let them talk to me or treat me this way. You know, I need to fight back. I need to fight for myself. You know, screw you. I won't take shit from you anymore, right? And it becomes a never-ending circuit. So essentially, what I'm trying to say is, if you're watching this video, you're probably the more self-aware one. Uh, The one who's strong enough to realize that Something needs to be done, you know, but you just don't know what. And I'm here to tell you. It's very, very simple. You just have to break the circuit. (laughs) Show them a better way to get the results that they're looking for. In other words, you have to train them. (laughs) So, firstly, don't react to their negative behaviors, right? Don't reinforce the behavior by giving them what they want when they're in that aggressive state. When they show you anger, just don't react to it. Be indifferent. Just act normal like you're not affected by it, right? Uh, You need to show them ultimately that anger gets them nowhere, like what I did with a dog. And I know it's hard for a lot of us because we tend to start feeling guilty. But you have to know that this will only make them use anger over and over again to manipulate you because it works you know unless of course you actually have a reason to feel guilty such as you you cheated or you crossed some sort of boundary in a relationship then that's a different story right (laughs) but in cases where you actually don't know what you did wrong you know and your partner starts to get angry at you a thinking exercise that you can try to psych yourself to not feel guilty is you could start thinking back of all the times that you would you would get angry and realize that you were actually most of the time you were angry out of fear or anxiety think of the time where you got cut off in traffic and like shouted obscenities at the person or honked your horn like a maniac um it's because you were scared you were scared for your life right you were afraid that you were going to lose your life or think of like a mom who walks in on her child smoking in his room and she would shout things like you stupid fool but it's not that she's angry at the child it's she was afraid she was going to lose her kid to cancer um yeah so you just need to remind yourself that most of the time the anger is directed at us but it's not like there's something inherently wrong with us but It's more of the root of their anger probably lies somewhere deeper within that person themselves, right? That they are really just scared of something, you know? They're scared of losing you, scared of losing the relationship. Now, if your partner has been so used to using anger as a tool, they might get a little frustrated, right? If this time around it doesn't work. So chances are they'll try and, you know, push it a little bit further just to see your limit. And this is where the super tantrum comes in. (laughs) Like in the forms of threatening, screaming, you know, breaking stuff. And this is the crucial point where even more so you should not react, right? You should just continue your Zen mode, which should be easier because now you're aware of what fighting back will actually mean, you know? It will mean that you failed the freaking training session and you gave them what they want. (laughs) Remember, you're a trainer now. You're not a partner. They're your dog. You need to hold on to that tuna, essentially, and wait for the perfect timing. So instead, you could calmly suggest that you two talk about it at a later time, you know, because you feel like you both 
can communicate better, right? More effectively if you are both in a more loving, calm, uh, sweet, and non-explosive state. And when they do decide to go back to normal behavior, or when you even see signs of them attempting to calm themselves down because they realize, oh shit, you know, my anger didn't work anymore. What else can I do? And usually, um, this will prompt them to go into self-soothing mode. So they'll either, I don't know, go to their room to sulk or to cry. Sometimes they could storm out and not come back until the night. Or they could even, some could even try, you know, sitting down next to you quietly, um, waiting for you to approach them. But uh, yeah, generally, whatever change of behavior that is non-aggressive, you want to address that and reward that change of behavior. Like what I mentioned before in my previous video, uh, it's like punishments don't work unless you actually follow up with a positive reward. And what do they want? To know that you give a shit about them, right? That they're important to you, that you will care if they suddenly died or that they are good enough to be with you. So you should talk to them nicely, you know, shower them with affection. You could hug them, you could hold their hand, you could offer a massage, you could show that you want to listen to them, and yeah, just to show them that you care, to give them reassurance, essentially. And you know, you could probably throw in some high-quality tuna while you're at it, you know? <laughs> Cancel your night out with your friends, you know, just spend time with them. Or you could suggest that you go to a spa together tomorrow. Or you could also suggest that you just go for a spontaneous night out. <laughs> the bottom line is, you should just have fun with it. Um, be a good person in general and know your worth as a partner, as a human being. Like, you shouldn't take life so seriously, I think. Like, it's hard enough as it is, right? So when we're met with anger, instead of taking it personally, like a lot of us are hardwired to, we should train ourselves to go into trainer mode and help our partners by training them. So yeah, that's my take on how to train your angry partners. Hope this works out if you have a chance to try it on your partners. At the end of the day, just know that anger is just another tool that people use to get what they want. Once you realize that in your own behavior, you will you will be aware that anger can actually be controlled. As long as you replace it with a less stressful and more effective method, right? But anyway, thanks again for watching. And see you in the next video. Ciao.